Okay, hello everyone. What we're going to do here right now is we're going to go through the donning and doffing procedures and the negative and positive checks that are required uh, before we use our respirators. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do the three different types of masks. We're going to do the particulate masks or the N95 masks. We are going to do the half masks and the uh, full face mask. So the first one that I'm going to ask Reg to do, Reg Komet is here with me today and he's going to be our model for the, for the demonstrations. What if I'm going to ask Reg to do is first is the particulate mask. The donning and doffing of the particulate mask will don the mask first. What I'm going to ask Reg to do is he'll hold his mask in the palm of his hand with the straps on the back of his hand hanging down. Bring the mask to his face and then with the other hand grab the top strap and bring it up to the top of his head and put it into a comfortable position so it'll hold the mask and then with the next strap bring it over the back of his neck and at this point the mask is on but if you have long hair this is where you would pull all your hair out so that the strap is right against the back now what I'm going to ask Reg to do now that the mask is on we're going to do the negative and positive checks okay so what we'll do is uh, once, the, once the mask is on, I'll ask Reg to take two fingers on both hands, on, on his hands and form the nose piece around. We do not pinch it with one hand. We use two fingers, two hands, and form the uh, metal piece around our nose to get a solid seal. Now the second uh, test that we're going to do, now we'll do the negative test. Uh, I'll ask Reg to cup his hands over the mask again and inhale slightly and the mask should slightly vacuum onto his face or pull into his face. Again, we're looking for the air around there and if there's any air that's coming into the mask as we do the negative check, then the adjustments would be made accordingly. I'll ask Rich to do is the positive check. He'll put his hands, cup, your, cup his hands over the full face of the mask and exhale naturally. And what we're looking for is He's looking for the, where the seal is around the mask. The mask should expand a little bit and we should feel around here that there's no air escaping from the mask. If there's any air escaping from the mask as he breathes out, then we would adjust the mask a little bit. So for doffing the mask, I'm going to ask Rich to take the mask off. When we doff these masks, we do not want to touch the mask with our hand. What I'll ask Rich to do is reach with one hand, right or left, your preference, and bring the well, the strap that's over his neck, bring it over the top. And then once that's done, with either hand, grab the strap, the top strap, and take it off without touching the mask. And if the mask is contaminated in any way, you can just discard the mask. Okay, thank you. So that's the uh, particulate mask. For the half mask, what I'll ask Reg to do is the process is very similar. What I'll ask Reg to do is take, uh, hold the mask in front of him and take the neck straps and clip them on to the back around his neck. At this point, again, if you have long hair, remove the hair from underneath the strap. You need the strap against your skin. And then what I'll ask Reg to do is take the harness and bring it up over his head, bringing the mask up onto his face. And now at this point, we can snug the mask up a little bit so it's at a, in a comfortable position for you, so you feel that the mask is nice and tight. And then we'll do our negative and positive checks. The first check we'll do again is the positive check. What I'll ask Reg to do is cover the exhalation valve on the front and breathe into the mask normally. Again, what we're looking for is we're looking for the seal. The mask should expand a little bit and we're looking for a seal around here. If there's any air escaping, then Reg would readjust his mask and then reperform the positive check. For the negative check, what I'll ask Reg to do is cover the inhalation valve with both hands and inhale slightly and the mask should vacuum down onto your face a little bit and again we're looking to make sure that there's no air coming into the mask. If there's any air coming in then I'd ask Reg to readjust the straps on his mask accordingly. For the doffing of the mask or taking the mask off we'll reverse the process. Again we don't want to touch the mask with our hands in case there's some contaminants on the mask I'll ask to undo the back strap first. 
and then using your right or left hand, grab the bonnet part of the harness and pull it over your face and then I, uh, clean the mask up after that. So for the third one, what we'll do is the full face mask. So the full face mask, the harness is a little bit different on a full face mask. It doesn't have the neck and the bonnet sections. It just has the one full section on there. And so what we'll do is I'll ask Reg to put the mask onto his face, pulling the harness over top, bringing the mask down into a comfortable position, and then tightening up the chin straps. And we also have straps on the top of the forehead, and we'll snug all those down. And as soon as that is in a, a good, comfortable position where you feel you have a good seal, then we'll perform our negative and positive checks. Again, the first one we'll do is a positive check. I'll ask Reg to cover the exhalation valve on the mask with one hand and exhale slightly to fill the mask with air. You should, what we're doing now is we're looking for a seal on the outside of the mask. And again, if there's any air escaping when we exhale into the mask, we would readjust our straps and readjust the mask until we got a good seal. I'll ask Reg to cover the inhalation valves with both hands and then inhale slightly. The mask should, should feel a vacuum sensation on the mask and it should suck into your face a little bit. Again, we're looking for the seal around the outside of the mask. So that's your negative and positive checks. Uh, now I'll ask Reg to doff the mask or remove the mask. On the full face mask, what we'll do is we loosen the straps on our forehead. Uh, we'll loosen the straps on the four connections that the harness is connected to the mask. Once that's done, then Reg would reach back with either hand or both hands and remove the mask without touching the mask itself. And that's the process for all three, the donning and doffing of the negative and positive checks. And uh, maybe put the, uh, can we start again? I forgot to tell you to do the thing. That's okay. Okay, you can do all that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> nice.